What's going on, Leo? Hope you are doing very well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be a new love reading for you here for 2022. So we're going to focus on new love. So that means this is someone that you've never physically been with here, Leo. You could know who this person is. You could talk to them a little bit, we're, but we're going to focus on new love here, new love for 2022. You are very welcome here, Leo, in this space with me. And thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading. I really appreciate it. If you find it resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. I would appreciate that a lot as well. So let's see what's going on here. Um, what do you want Leo to know about this new love in 2022? High Priestess, okay. Let's do three shuffles and figure out what's going on here for Leo. Knight of Cups, okay. Okay, Leo, let's see what's going on with you and this person. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups and the Empress here to start us off. So this is very powerful energy here, Leo, with this Knight of Cups. This is literally the card of romance. So I feel like this person is very so much interested in you. You know, they very much are could be in love with you already with this Knight of Cups. Very romantically interested in you and making you some sort of love offer is what the Knight of Cups is all about. And in this reading, the Knight of Cups is marching right into this Empress energy. So I feel like for a lot of you Leos, they view you as an Empress here, okay? And they want to offer their love to you. I feel like this is how they view you, the Empress. So this person could also be an Empress in and of themselves. You know, this person could be very abundant, okay? They could be a little bit mature very sure of themselves, very, you know, they know their own worth. I feel like that's who this person is as well, but they also perceive you that way a little bit here, Leo. You know, they know you're a queen, and so they're kind of gearing up to offer you something here, Leo, with that Knight of Cups. But then we have this Two of Swords here. So I feel like they're definitely fearing rejection from you right now. You know, Leo, I feel like this person, um, they could be a little bit intimidated by you as well. You know, this Two of Swords, they could be fearing rejection, you know, because they view you as the Empress here. Also, if this person is an Empress in their, in their own right, they're very abundant. They may not very much so like, I feel like this person doesn't really get rejected a lot is what's coming through. Could be a water sign for you here, right? I feel like this person doesn't get rejected a lot. And so they're fearing it when it comes to you for some reason. Yeah, you have the Page of Swords here. So this person is trying to kind of gather information on you, I feel, Leo. You know, they're trying to figure out, like, is Leo open to me or not kind of thing. Or it's like, if you don't know who this person is yet and they pop into your reality in 2022, this is what they're going to be feeling towards you. So the Page of Swords to the Two of Swords, they're definitely in their head over you. They're definitely thinking about you a lot. Okay, maybe trying to gather information about how to make this offer. They definitely want to offer you love, though. Right, and then we have the World card here. So... Someone's exiting a certain cycle. I feel like this person is closing out a major cycle of their life. And they're kind of looking for someone to, to join them in their new phase. This could also be you. I feel like this is kind of uh, You guys are like on a similar timeline or something. Like almost like you were destined to meet at this point. You know, the world is all about rewards for going through a long journey. So it's almost like both of you have probably worked on yourselves a lot to get to this point of like being very desirable to another person. Both of you find each other very attractive, probably very physically attractive, right? The Empress is all about the physical realm. So we also have this hanged man energy. So, wow, hanged man to the world. Yeah, this person, this person is very... Um, maybe shook by you a little bit. I, f I do feel like they're intimidated by you here with this hanged man. It's almost like they're, they know they have such, such strong feelings for you. They don't, they don't know what to do with it though. Cause they, they know if they just push forward with it, there's a chance of rejection. So there is this like sacrifice maybe that they have to make for you as well. 
All right, then you have the Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups. So this person is is probably very like emotionally well, very compassionate, very gentle person, like very could be a water sign, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups here. Um also I feel like this is how they view you as the Queen of Cups. They could view you as someone very like emotionally calm. They could also be that way. Look at this page of wands as well. Hmm. This person wants an adventure with you, right? Whatever phase they're closing out here with that world, this this page of wands is what they want with you. They're very like excited. You know, the page of wands is a very like uh it's all about excitement, adventure. And I do feel like this person wants to go on an adventure with you here, Leo. Because this phase allowed them to do it, like something closed out. So they're kind of in a suspended state right now over you. You know, there's this feeling of like not wanting to push it forward. You also have the Queen of Swords here. I feel like this is them. I feel like this person is, um, this person is very, probably very smart. You know, you have this, these two cards of the mind here, the swords. Um, this person is very calculated, most likely. Like they don't just let their emotions run them. Um, I feel like this person is just really trying to screen you out here. So they may be playing head games with you a little bit, Leo. They might start to do that as things kind of creep up, as you start talking more and more here in 2022. Could be a little bit of a play, like, not that they're playing head games to manipulate you, just to like, almost like shit test you and like figure out if you are who you say you are. Then yeah, you also have this four of pentacles. This person is very practical, right? Four of pentacles. Um, and the queen of swords is like, literally like putting this on display for us so yeah i i feel like this person um they know what they want they're very grounded but they're very much so in love with you here leo so yeah this is super powerful energy so let's go ahead and clarify some of these cards for you to really make more sense why is this knight of cups for leo why is this here Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Swords. This person is deeply in love with you here, um, Leo. They feel like you're the one. They feel like you're the empress to their reality. Like, there's no one better than you. Like, they really do put you on a pedestal here, okay? But the Knight of um, Cups to the to the consciousness card, this is about, like, they're probably daydreaming about you with, with such vivid detail as well. Um, there's something that this person, like, you just stand out to them pretty much. It's almost like just your own essence. There's something about you that I feel is going to activate this person as well, like, spiritually. You know, you may be a very spiritual person. That might be what this person is very attracted to you about as well. Um, let's also clarify this Empress for you. Why is this here? They're very, 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 they're very attracted to you. They can't hide it from themselves, like, um... They might try to a little bit though. Let's see, why is this Empress card here though? Okay, so the Empress card is clarified by the conditioning card guys. Um, I feel like you are a level up in what they're used to, okay? This conditioning card to the Empress says that, like, someone feels in this connection like they're out of each other's league, okay? This could have to do with finances. This could have to do with physical appearance. Um, there's something about you that this, it's a, it's a severe level up from what they're used to dealing with, like, from what you tolerate, how you want to be treated, like, who you are. I feel like this person has never dealt with anyone like you, and that's why this hanged man is here. And the world, they're like, you're, you're completely a different flavor than they are used to experiencing. I feel like you have a lot of dignity, a lot of self-respect, a lot of awareness too. And so that's why like, I feel like this person honors that. Like they want to honor you. Um, maybe they just feel a little bit like scared. They, they do feel a little bit intimidated. That's why they're overthinking this for sure here. 
Um, let's also clarify this hanged man. Why is this here for Leo? Okay, the hanged man is clarified by the fool. Yeah, so this person wants an adventure with you, Leo. The knight of cups to the ace of swords and now the hanged man to the fool. This person is exiting a, a certain cycle of their life and they're wanting for you to be the, the partner with them in their first steps, right? So I don't know, maybe this person is leaving a job behind or something. They're leaving something behind and they're totally stepping into the new. There could be a fear about money here a little bit. It could be you or the other person, Leo. But th this is like, this is, a, I would really say you're going to have a lot of fun with this person with that page of wands. Let's just clarify this, uh, this queen of swords for you. Why is this queen of swords here for Leo? I feel like this person is your reward as well for putting in a lot of hard work, like working on yourself. This could be like one of the first people to honor that improvement, like whatever you've made mindset physical appearance whatever why is this queen of swords here for leo Ooh. all right so yeah this is a past life connection guys um we have the past lives card to the queen of swords so this is the type of connection to make someone overthink you know um whenever you're dealing with one of these soulmate connections and there there's a clear like awareness of that knight of cups to the awareness consciousness card queen of swords pa uh, past lives yeah, like this is um, this is definitely a past life connection, and so I feel like that kind of puts them on edge a little bit, even subconsciously. So, so you guys have probably had many, many, many past lives together, whoever this person is for you. So very intense, and, and I feel like this lifetime, you guys have an opportunity to like to maybe explore a different theme that you've never experienced together. You guys, pro that, yeah, this is definitely a, a pre-birth intention type of connection. So looking super powerful for you here, Leo. All right, now let's kind of help you figure out how you can best attract this person um, or like even some sort of like any sort of energy that would help you here get with this person. Um, we're going to use this Oracle card deck. Let's do three shuffles with this deck and see what you need to embody here energy energetically wise. All right. So the first thing I would say, you got a lot of Pleiadian energy going on. I don't know if you guys connect to the star seed world, but a lot of Pleiadian energy here. So you have Archangel Michael. This card says trusting heaven. So this is all about trusting the divine plan with this card. So this card is not about really taking action. You know, it says you are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So this is the energy you need to embody just knowing that this is almost like it is a past life relationship it's meant to come this is a faded connection so just trusting heaven you know trusting those higher frequencies then you also have commander ashtar here call to action take charge lead by example walk your talk all right so a lot of um you know these are definitely higher frequencies this would tell me that you guys are connecting on a higher frequency level so you know you do need to walk your talk though there may be some action you need to take to kind of uh, start talking to this person, being at the right place at the right time. Now, the final card that you have is Lady Nada, uh, Heart Awakening. Okay, so awaken to acceptance and divine love, give and receive in balance. Okay, so definitely to open your heart here, understanding that you know you can love anything on this. You can love a blade of grass, you can love a crystal, you can love a table. Everything ultimately is love, but when it comes to a soulmate love, that's so much more intense. And so you do have to prepare your heart for that experience. So it will put you places where you've never been before. 
So just prepare for this connection really is what it's saying. You do have to take some action, but overall I would say prepare for this like spiritually really. So if you want more information on this Leo, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You can find information in the description box of this video if you would like to work one-on-one. -on -one. I would love to provide you with more information on this person or whatever your concerns are. But either way, Leo, I will talk to you guys next week and I hope you have a great 2022. I see great things for you and this person. All right, much love and light. Peace.